do the work. Amen. And Minister Ian Craig asked me to briefly speak on the subtopic, understanding the word, the power of the word. As you probably can tell, I'm somewhat of an old school girl. So when he said that to me, the first thing that jumped in my spirit was the old saying, God said it, I believe it, that settles it. But I also understand that we live in a generation and in a time when old sayings and slogans aren't enough to satisfy the craving for truth and realness in and outside of the church. Isaiah 40 and 8 says, the grass withereth, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. This came straight from the word of God, book, chapter, and verse. Many times we feel that because our prayers aren't being answered in what we consider to be a timely fashion or because God did not fix a situation the way we suggested to him to fix it, that we don't have power. We accept the lie that God does not hear us, nor does he care, and we take on this defeated mentality, and we allow the enemy to come in and alter our focus, resulting in losing our position in faith and with favor. Real quick, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I got the power. Turn to the other neighbor, because they may have fell asleep, and tell them, I got the power. Just like the method and execution of electricity, power has to be activated. I can give you the remote to a car, a garage, or a television, but if you don't press a button to release an activity, you just have an instrument in your hand. But when we act on it, apply it, and use it, it gets us to the next destination. It opens doors, and it allows us to see things that we're not even in the same room with. Though the word of God stands alone, it is our action and activity that causes power to manifest. A good friend of mine reminded me just a few days ago that the earth rotates on its axis by sound waves produced throughout the earth. And it is the repetition of sound that keeps it turning on its axis. So if God said it, my audible praise puts power behind what he already said. And it is a constant praise. A constant sound. My constant hand clapping. My constant foot stomping. My constant praise that keeps turning situations in my favor. Of obedience, willingness, and participation 
believing in all that the word says. God said it, I believe it, that settles it, I got the power.